So in yesterday's video, we took a look at AMD versus Nvidia in terms of image quality that's coming out on your screen. Now we had a 4K Sony A7S II, and on this setup, there were some subtle differences. And when we zoomed in pixel by pixel, we could notice that the AMD graphics card overall, I thought, had slightly better detail. And the main determining factor of this was when we looked at static objects. So yes, we did capture this with a Sony A7S II, but we did have it in a controlled environment where the settings were exactly the same, the position of the camera was exactly the same, and also the position of the monitor was exactly the same. And now the reason we didn't use a capture card for this is because capture cards expose themselves essentially to compression of their own. Especially at 1080p, we're not gonna get an accurate result whatsoever in my opinion. If we use a 4K capture card, then we may get some better results, but again, a 4K capture card will still expose itself to some form of compression. So I guess the idea here is that we sort of want to open Pandora's box in regards to this because I know there's a difference. When we looked at it with the current setup we had and then we looked at it with our own eyes going back and forth, uh, both I and also my video editor Yusuf, we could notice a slight difference. It was there. Uh, and so if someone out there has maybe really expensive gear like an 8K camera and an 8K monitor and they've got completely lossless, maybe they can do a video comparison or they can get some really high res photos on an even better gear. I'd like to see if there's an expert out there on visuals that could sort of weigh in on this. But other than that, we're also taking a look at the settings that we used initially, and that was on the NVIDIA graphics cards that sometimes with particular monitors, and that's what we found around here, we've got over six different monitors that we tested this on, half of the monitors defaulted to a setting called limited range. And you have to change this, not only I made a little mistake in yesterday's video and where I said it was the video player settings, but it's also a resolution setting as well that you can change the dynamic output and make sure that that's going the full dynamic range. And so today we're doing some tests here as well. Uh, this is with the capture card because you're gonna easily capture differences in color uh, when you look at these two settings. And so what we decided to do was use the default setting on a HP monitor we had here, which defaults to limited. And then we decided to test that versus full range. And what we had was a clear difference in my opinion uh, in Overwatch. The colors were a little bit more washed out, especially on the wooden floors. Uh, you could notice it there. And then uh, moving over to Far Cry 5, when we tested this side by side, the uh, water was definitely looking a lot more washed out. Uh, than it was on the uh, full range mode. And then move over to the last game that we tested was Rainbow Six Siege, and that again had uh, washed out colors versus the full range mode. So if you guys have an Nvidia card, it doesn't hurt to go into the uh, control panel and then just go to your resolution settings, make sure it's uh, defaulting to full range. Uh, if it isn't, then you can go to the advanced options and then click full range and then lock that in. Uh, because monitors for a very long time now have supported full range. Uh, I believe some monitors back in the day uh, didn't support this feature, but I think a lot of years later, this maybe should be an option that Nvidia asks people. Are you using an old monitor? If so, uh, do you wanna change this setting? Because it does make a big difference, I feel like. You're getting a better image when you're using full range. Uh, it's not so washed up. But also on top of that, as we said in yesterday's video, uh, the image quality differences between the NVIDIA and also the AMD graphics cards, uh, it's not a big deal. I am just being pretty anal retentive about this stuff and sort of going into details, but I do like to do that from time to time on the channel, and I do like to also discuss with you guys in the comments on uh, different things that we can try and also different methods that we can, I guess, help as a community. Uh, grow and become more knowledgeable. So I don't pretend to know everything and I'm far from knowing everything there is about the uh, enthusiast tech, uh, but I always try to weigh in and sort of give my opinion on things, especially when I go from testing different graphics cards from one brand to another. And speaking of AMD versus Nvidia, I've actually been using Nvidia graphics cards in my main rig for over six years straight now. So uh, when it comes to fanboyism arguments, I don't really get involved in any of that. I just simply do tests and then make recommendations for people. And I always say, get what is best for you. And I will say in a lot of my reviews, maybe what is best for me in my current situation, but everyone out there in the world is different. They've got different needs. And if uh, even subtle differences in image quality is one of those needs that you have, then perhaps getting the AMD card is the right choice for you. Also, another question that came up in the comments was turning on limited range versus full range. 
does it affect FPS? And at least in Rainbow Six Siege, the in-game benchmark, and also Far Cry 5, those benchmarks showed no difference whatsoever with the RTX 2070. Now there's also another good question that came up and that was Delta Color Compression. Is there a way to disable this? And unfortunately, uh, to my knowledge, no, because it's a hardware-based solution that Nvidia have been implementing on their graphics cards. And apparently they've improved it with the RTX 2000 series. Uh, but again, yesterday's video, we tested the RTX 2070 versus the RX 590. So uh, in terms of trying to disable this, I'd have no idea uh, whatsoever on how you would even disable this if it's possible. Anyway, what all comes down to it, it is what it is, and we just try and do our best to give you guys the best informed purchasing decision. And right now it's all over the place. There's gonna be a lot more content to come, whether it be used parts, new parts, so stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. And if you have any thoughts and opinions of your own about today's video, yesterday's video, then make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below as I love reading those thoughts and opinions as always. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Peace out for now. Bye.